Good evening, bowlers and friends. We are now live. We're getting ready for the final match. We have Jeremy Sacconi versus Luke Russell. We have a lot of revolutions against a kind of a finesse type player that gets his hand into it a little bit too. But Jeremy's going to show us how to rev it up here today for sure. I have uh, in the booth with me David Matchin over to my left. Hello. Good evening. Over to my right is Dawn manning the camera. Hello, Dawn. She waved. Nobody heard the wave. Wave, wave, wave. Should be a good match. Uh, both players kind of kind of got it lined up the last game. Jeremy shot uh, 268 the last game. Hello, Pam. Speaking of scores, um, Luke Russell getting ready to bowl here on the on the right hand lane to start the, the championship match. Bowled an 807 in qualifying. Uh, Fan fantastic. Pretty amazing. He did it by doing a lot of that. Yeah, Luke's throwing a uh, scandal. And uh, Jeremy is throwing the, the ball I want. A uh, gold widow. And since we're bringing up honor scores for the night, Luke Russell with his 807. CJ Martini, fresh out of youth leagues. Shot a I did get the video for it, uh, and it was his first 300 in uh, sanctioned competition. So congratulations to both you guys. Great bowling, both of you. Yeah, we are sanctioned now, so uh, any honor score shot here at the sweeper will be reported to the USBC and be eligible for awards. Luke's going to take a run at this and uh, picks up the three for count. We do want to reach out to our sponsor tonight. Uh, Chris Wellman Construction. Tonight's his last night of sponsorship. He's done the last month for us. Thank you very much, Chris. Hey, Ricky. Chris Wellman, thanks so much for being out. Much booked a sponsor starting next week. Most of you folks out there have heard of. We've got we've got Buffalo Wings and Rings as a sponsor here, folks. Wow. I'm just I'm just hoping he brings in some samples. One of our league bowlers here, Donnie Hinkin, stepped up to the plate. He actually came to me and asked me if we needed somebody for May, and uh, here's our guy. So thank you, Donnie. I think he bowls on the same team with Chris Wellman. Yes, he he actually does. Yeah, we've had great sponsorship uh, participation this year. Hopefully it keeps up through the summer here. Guys, we're on the uh, 2018 NCAA Women's Championship pattern tonight. Uh, scores were a little better than they have been in the past few weeks. Uh, no Masters pattern here. We definitely softened them up a little bit. Uh, Low to make the cut tonight was, I see Josh Hitz watching now, making comments here. Low to make the cut was Phil Connell with 6-11. 6-11 making the cut. Uh, again, the high qualifier Luke Russell with 807, and our mystery doubles winners were Michael McKee and Freddie Sheldon with 473. Yeah, it was, it was on the, the cut scores are definitely on the, the higher side. Um. <laughs> a little late yeah they were not they were not dead easy as you can tell from uh, Luke's ball reaction there I see uh, on my live feed here Kyle Cook's watching with us everybody let's give him a little shout out Kyle Cook uh, went up in Boldy Regional up in Grove City today or this weekend yesterday and today and he was struggling um, which got a different ball out through two big, big numbers the last two games, made it in the cut. And what does he do today? He goes out there and bowls 12. 
round robin type match play and wins the regional. Yep. Went from the cut number to first place. Congratulations, Kyle. It's Kyle's first title, uh, regional title, and uh, I'm not surprised. Uh, so, congratulations, buddy. You certainly earned it, and it, it, it's good to see some of the guys out there uh, that, that come in here almost every week. I don't, I don't know, he didn't make it today. I'm sure he's probably still having a couple drinks. So. <laughs> And yes, Matt Stanager, I'm sure it's going to be first of many for Kyle. Well, speaking of great bowlers, uh, Sachs put up four in a row here, and it uh, doesn't look like he's slowing down. Well, way to go, Dave. Announcer's curse. At least I did it early. Kyle, we don't want to know that you're in bed. Sorry. <laughs> I do want to shout out to a couple other bowlers. Uh, Josh Baird, who was our winner the last two weeks. Um... Uh, Total 300 up at the state tournament this weekend, along with Brad Allen. Uh, Brad's bowled in the sweeper several times. He also bowled 300 at state this weekend. So congratulations to both of you guys. Um, you know, I keep try to keep track of the scores and see what some of these guys let's, are doing. Let's but not forget uh, Nick Poppy. Nick, Nick, Nick Poppy. Poppy bowled over in the KSC Nationals. Uh, shot a 300 and a 298 this weekend. So he had a pretty big weekend. <laughs> That's funny, Potsy. That's my job. Oh, makes the move and trips out the four. And put him on a little run there. Help him catch up a little bit. Uh, it's 59. 53 pin deficit. And that is just wow. stupid. Yeah. Jeremy is a fairly new staff member with uh, EBI. We like those guys. Yeah, yeah. We, I like that kind. Oh, that's got to turn. Whoops. Let's see if we can run this down. That's right, Matthew Staninger. I know you like them too, sir. Had the pleasure of uh, crossing with uh, Zach tonight, and uh, he's been he's been he's been pretty lights out, especially after that ball change. Guys, I want to uh, remind everybody: go down in that bottom left-hand corner of your phone because most people are watching on their phones. Uh, hit the share button. We want to get this out to as many people as possible. We run run this sweeper every Sunday night. Uh, starting at 6.30 tonight, once again, we had a lot of people gone at Nationals, we had a lot of people gone at State, uh, we had Kyle Cook and a few others bowling in a regional this weekend, uh, and we got 60 bowlers tonight, so yeah. it's kind of turning into the standard, yeah. uh, 55, 60 guys, um, you know, uh, tonight first place, uh, the winner's going to take home $500, uh, we, when we, whenever we have a sponsor, we always make sure we match that amount. So there's always $200 on top, um, or added, 
Uh, I've split that between the first four or six spots. I want to make sure everybody gets a little money back. I pay one out of four. Tonight we paid 16 bowlers plus the high qualifier and our mystery doubles winners got their money back plus a, about five or ten bucks. Uh, Dwight, the uh, summertime starts. It's going to be the same. We're still going to do 6.30 on Sundays. Yeah, it looks like uh, Luke made the uh, move left, got a little more oil under his ball in the front. It's on four in a row. Gave himself a chance against Jeremy here. Well, this is a pretty big ball for Jeremy. This match oh, yeah. is going quick like we figured it would. Oh, yeah. There would be a lot of strikes. Oh, oh, that's got a yeah. Well, this game just got very close. Oh. As we're going to talk about a couple tournaments coming up, we're within a month of our Steady Hand Painting Trio Tournament. It is that time of year. Um, our Trio Tournament was a huge success last year. We had 120 teams bowl last year. I believe we're at about 125, 130 yeah. already signed up for this year. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, my. Makes a good run at it, but uh, not only is it time for the trio tournament. If anybody's looking for some painting work, maybe some kitchen remodeling, some cabinet remodeling, um, give Chris Hackworth and Steady Hand Steady Hand Painting a call. Uh, it's five four four three 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 three. Those guys would uh, come out and do a great job. I, know I try to share some of the things that yeah. Chris does. Um, they do some fantastic do something cool. work. Yeah, he's uh, Chris has done some uh, painting at my house and. Uh, does great work. Uh, very professional crew. Good guy and a great bowler as well. Absolutely. Uh, I'm sure we'll see him on the 19th and 20th when his tournament's going on. That trio tournament is bowled on our, on our house shot here at Coring Bowl. We do a cookout. We have Tom McGill Sr., my brother Tim, my uncle Sherman. They're going to come here. Both days, stand outside and cook some burgers, brats, and nuts for everybody. Oh, mom will be here helping serve the food too. Uh, if anybody remembers last year, the food was was incredible. Um, just for a, a little cookout, and we can, you know, like four bucks a sandwich, and then all you can eat for ten bucks for the whole day. It's a pretty good deal, and uh, you know we we keep them coming and keep the food hot and ready for you all night or all day long. Well, let's not let's not forget uh, forget Mr. Uh, Cook's tournament, uh, yep. Coleraine Open. That's the one to follow. Uh, that's going to be June eighth, 9th, and tenth. It's the inaugural Coleraine Open. I believe Kyle's got us at about 125, 130 bowlers already for that one. So we're we're close to hitting our number. You're looking at a hundred and or I'm sorry, fifteen hundred dollars for first place in that singles event. Uh, $70 entry fee. So if anybody's looking for some summer tournaments, go over to Coring Bowl Summer Challenge Series. It'll show you everything we got going on. Uh, as well as if you want to look at some of these matches that are going on, we have them here, of course, on Facebook Live. Um, and then later on tonight or tomorrow, we will send it over to... Um, we'll send it over to the Todd McGill Tournaments page on YouTube which shows everything that's going on here at Coring Bowl. Uh, literally, it's just to show off some of the talent that's here locally, some of the folks that are that, that like to come and bowl these tournaments. Again, we're averaging about 60 people a week. Uh, so just go over to the Todd McGill tournament page, just hit subscribe, and it'll update you when we upload some, some different events on there. Uh, I'll probably get the picture or the video of CJ with his 300 unit on that page. Uh, just try to get as many people to see it as we can and, and keep pushing the, the, the tournament here. Uh, right now we're on a, we're on a, on a nice run. Um, you know, 60 to 65 bowlers every week for the last two months. Uh, and you guys make it all very easy for me to, to, to run and take care of. So thank you very much, everybody, for coming out and joining our tournament, spending your Sunday night with us. Uh, looks like we got our final score. Jeremy Ciccone, 217, Luke Russell, 202. So our, uh, our new champion this week is now Jeremy Ciccone. Congratulations. Well-deserved. Um, 
again, don't forget to hit that share button for me, everybody, and uh, we'll get it over on everybody else's page. We do post it on uh, Dave's World of Bowling. We'll put it on Corn Bowl's page. We get it out as many places as we can on Facebook and make sure everybody can see it. So I want to thank everyone for watching. Thank everyone for bowling. And uh, I look forward to seeing everybody next Sunday. Dave, thanks for being in the booth. Thank you for having me. Don, thanks for running the camera. Wave, wave, wave. <laughs> Another wave. <laughs> and we'll see everybody next Sunday. Have a good night.